We are going to be reviewing uh, the comedian from a toys era. Hello, folks. Denobi2 here. Thank you for joining me once again on another visual tour. Toys era. What is that? Well, it's not Hot Toys. They are a third-party company that uh, has produced a unlicensed character based on the hit film of the Joker. And uh, I, like many others, got swept up with the excitement last year when multiple third-party companies announced that they were going to release their version of the Joker. I pre-ordered this, uh, this particular uh, figure, uh, I, I want to say October, October of last year, and I just recently got it. And uh, for those of you who aren't, uh, who aren't familiar, Toys Era, again, it's, it's more of a, a Chinese company. Uh, I think I, I want to say I spent 200 bucks on this, 200 and change on this. I'm, I typically do not support third party uh, uh, characters like this. I, I, I really, really don't. Um, I do on certain in certain cases for and I'll give you a, a good example if Toys Era decided to make a 1/6 scale cyborg figure I definitely would support that simply because I know for a fact that uh, Hot Toys will most likely never make a cyborg figure now that being said Joker uh, the film re has received tons of Oscar nominations and I can pretty much bet that uh, Hot Toys, one way or the other, will pick up the license to make a Joker 1-6 scale figure. Uh, once that happens, then these little tchotchke third-party companies will go of the way of the dodo bird, and then the regret will start to set in. So, um, I like this little uh, cardboard two-way look there you can uh you can create the the scene from the robert de niro talk show in the film i like that i like how they were able to multi-purpose the actual cover for the for the figure uh first impression i like the material of the suit it's very neat very nice um inspecting the uh the the stitching and uh it's 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 up to par now let's un uh, get the head out here and uh all right so <laughs> <laughs> this is where the this is where the regret sets in. So, like I mentioned earlier, I got swept up with the excitement because I love the Joker film, and uh, this particular sculpt is definitely, in my honest opinion, not up to par. And it'll especially fall out of favor and out of fad uh, when Hot Toys releases their own. I mean, when you when you put it side by side comparison, it's. I, no, I'm not going to squint my eyes and look at a piece of toast and claim I see Jesus. No, that's this is not Joaquin Phoenix. Uh, this is a pretty decent facsimile of what we should expect from the Joker. Now, this particular set comes with three different heads. This is the laughing uh, sculpt. And uh, again, this is this is difficult. This is... It's really difficult, and and, I, and I'm sure that Toys Era made an effort to uh, to 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 sculpt the best that they could. But Joaquin Phoenix is such a, a, a gifted actor that he's able to capture so many different likes and uh, uh, not likes, but 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 looks. Uh, he's this is the reason why he's probably going to take an Oscar. Uh, and when you look at the cinematic representation of what Joaquin Finch was able to do and you look at this head sculpt, no, it's really tough. And out of the all the heads, I gotta say the human version is probably the one that I would say is, uh, oh, it's definitely a for shame. This is a for shame. This looks like something NECA painted. This is not not acceptable for me uh if you haven't picked up the tone in my voice yeah it's there is a little bit of regret uh this is without the makeup and again this is it's tough it's really really tough that's no i probably will never use this head uh that being said i'm pretty sure uh, as much as I love this film, that when Hot Toys does, and I'm pretty, I, I have to speculate. I'm speculating here. I don't. I gotta say, Hot Toys, they will make their very own. 
Now, the accessories are pretty good. I got it. I'll give them. I'll give them props. The little bouquet of, of magic flowers here. That's really really nice. I, I like that. Uh, you also get the uh, the the mask. They did a really good job on this. You know, it's it's good. It it'll work. Uh, if anything, I'm, I may just use this particular figure and, and use the mask to, to, to cover the face. Kind of look at it, paint application. It's, it's up to par. It really, really is. Kind of make it work there. And these close-ups of the of, of the suit are, uh, which I'll show at the end of the video. It'll, it's there. I mean, the quality, what they were able to, to pull off, is there. I like the base. Very generic, though. But uh, again, I I can't knock points off of that because again, this is a third-party kit. And like I mentioned earlier in the video, I did spend uh, two two ten two twenty. I want to say. And when you are as a as a collector, as a one six scale collector, when you're approaching those price points for a unlicensed uh, figure, you really have to kind of stop and pause. I again, I got swept up. I if I can go back and do it all over again, I probably would not have bought this set. I really would not have. Uh, it's it's, and I'll go into in, into more explanation here. Oh, look at this revolver though. That's they got that little barrel spins there. So, again, it's there's. I'm not scolding you know anybody if you want to buy an unlicensed character. That's perfectly fine. But one of the biggest benefits of when you buy a licensed figure is that uh, the toy manufacturer typically has access to photos, to measurements, to to stills to uh, a lot more information that they're able to capture the likeness of the Joker, uh, of, of what, what King Phoenix was able to do. So that's really one of the biggest advantage. If you if you folks are out there in the Wants to Kill community and you're thinking about getting the Toys Era or the Humorist or any other tchotchke, just wait. Just wait. I'm telling you, when the Joker wins, I mean, there's already rumor that they're going to make a, 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 a sequel to this film. I'm pretty, I, I again, I, I'm speculating here, but I cannot imagine with the amount of Jokers that uh, Hot Toys has released from, from from the Dark Knight. Hell, they even went back and they retooled uh, Two-Face. So there's no reason why they they can't release a, a Joaquin Phoenix Joker. I'm pretty sure, hell, I'm pretty sure uh, this year's Comic Con again. I'm, I'm guessing, but I just I can feel it. I go when I go to Comic Con this year. We're gonna see a prototype. We're just gonna see a prototype. And the minute we see a prototype, all these little third party you know representations are are are, are gonna get shelved. They're gonna get shelved. So that being said, I do regret buying this. I really really do regret buying this because I know the minute that I see that prototype at San Diego Comic-Con this year, or or hell, it, it could even be shown at Toy Fair, uh, all these, all this stuff is just, it's not gonna work. It's not, <laughs> it's not gonna work. But, I'm gonna repeat myself on this. Third party characters, uh, like Toys Era. Toys Era, I believe, does serve a purpose in the 160 community, they make uh, characters that are very obscure, that are very not well known. Um, I know they've made some X-Men characters. You know, they 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 really do go out of their way, and I think that's great. If you're a completist and you're and you want to complete a set uh, that Hot Toys has started, absolutely. If if Toys Era made a cyborg, I would be all over that. Uh, simply because it, if if it's been abandoned by the licensed toy manufacturer. Absolutely, I think that's where uh, these companies do serve a purpose. But to spend this amount of money, knowing that it's not that far off from Hot Toys, because you know Hot Toys prices are what two thirty, two forty, and this was two two twenty, two thirty. It's very similar, very close to a licensed retail price, and that's where I say, whoa, folks, stop, think about this. We're gonna get a Joaquin Phoenix Joker. I just know we are. I really honestly know we are. Um, again, with the Oscars coming around the corner, this stuff is going to blow up. Um, 
So I hope I was able to provide some insight. I'm gonna have, I'm gonna display him. I'm gonna, I'm gonna work with him. He's fun. If anything, you know, and maybe down the road, a third-party company will, will make a, a better suitable head. Uh, because I like the body, I like the suit. Everything else looks great. It's just that sculpt. No, that is not Joaquin Phoenix. No, nope, nope, nope. nope. Uh, like, subscribe, leave your comments below, and you know what? Thanks for watching.